There are the riders revving up the machines, looking for the drop of the flag to get this one underway. And there it is, McMurder 24 inched over the line, but he did not jump the start. Robbins 47 away quickly along with number one, Mercier. They break at the end of the straightaway for the hairpin, and it'll be 47. Art Robbins with the lead in a turn one. Number one, Mercier right there in second, and Goodfellow 99, and McMillan number nine side by side for third. Out of the chicane, he runs lap one, and Robbins had both feet off the foot packs. He did a nice job of gathering it back in. Goodfellow 99 inside of McMillan. He'll take over the third place spot. Through the stock car oval for the first time, Art Robbins, 47, on the Rothmans Honda machine, leading Mercier, number one on the team Suzuki machine in second, and there's Goodfellow, 99, side by side, out of the bridge, the two Suzuki riders battling for the second place position. Robbins will complete lap number one with the lead. There's 991, Walter, and 73, Crevier, both running well back off the pace. 47, Art Robbins, your race leader. 99, Gary Goodfellow taking that inside line at the end of the straightaway as they break for turn one. And Goodfellow has taken solidly that second place position away from teammate Mercier. Out of the chicane, Robbins, 47, and again, you can see Robbins evidently having a problem at that section of the racetrack, Craig. Oh, yeah, but you know, Pat, this is a real test, not only for tires, but for the riders themselves. And a lot of them are still finding their way around here. I think the pace will pick up as it starts to dry out a little bit. Well, Gary Goodfellow finds himself in a Rothmans Honda sandwich right now because Paul McMillan has moved into the third place position, pushing Mercier back into fourth. The riders try to outbreak each other at the end of the straightaway, and it'll be Robbins holding on to the lead. Goodfellow into second. Mercier has moved back into third. It's McMillan number nine running fourth, and the old veteran Norm Murphy in fifth. There's Frank Champini's rider, Kyle Andrews, in 12th, and I think he's still trying to figure out Sanair's wet line somewhere along the way here. There's Goodfellow inside of Robbins. He'll take the lead going into the stock car oval. The riders swapping positions all over the racetrack, and now it's Gary Goodfellow's turn to lead. Through turn six, Goodfellow by just a few bike lengths. 47, Robbins right there in second place. We've got a tremendous five-rider scrap up front. Oh, and there's Gary Goodfellow coming under the bridge there but just listen to his engine pad it sounds like it's back down to three cylinders he sounds like he's losing power a bit here well craig some of these big four-stroke engines don't like the wet track conditions out there it gets into the electrics and can cause a problem we're not sure if that's the problem with gary's machine but right now he got reeled in on that straightaway by mercier number one who appeared to have the faster motorcycle from the final turn to the hairpin there's the race for third and it is a beauty 47 robbins number nine McMillan and 87 Murphy, the three riders rumble side by side on the straightaway. McMillan goes into third, Robbins running fourth, Murphy back in the fifth place spot. But here is the rider on the charge, number nine, Paul McMillan is going after second place rider, number one, Michelle Mercier. This has been a tremendous race since the opening lap. Well, Paul McMillan's got the reputation as being Mr. Rain Dancer, Pat, and he's sure showing the way right now. I don't know whether he can keep this pace or not, but boy, he's got that motorcycle running. Three riders tied together on the straightaway. Goodfellow, 99. There is Mercier, number one. He appeared to have, again, the better horsepower on the straightaway. He moves back around to retake that second place position. And there's McMillan on the inside, coming out of the hairpin. McMillan almost falls off the motorcycle. He got the right foot down, rebalanced the machine, and went hold out of that second place position. But things really starting to tighten up up front. Goodfellow number 99 has been caught by McMillan 9 and his Suzuki teammate Michelle Mercier number 1 and the fans are just loving the action up front. 99, Goodfellow your leader. Number 9, Paul McMillan in second and number 1, Michelle Mercier in third and there's McMillan on the inside. He will take over the lead. Well, Pat, you can definitely tell it now. Goodfellow has lost the cylinder on that bike and he's slowly dropping back even though Paul McMillan is driving extremely well in this wet surface that they're all faced with here today. Well, Goodfellow definitely down on power. Mercier has gone around into that second place position and he passed them right on the straightaway. Your new leader, Paul McMillan. That's London's Reuben McMurder, who's currently in sixth on his Yamaha. You know, he doesn't look comfortable running in these conditions today, but it's pretty tough for all these guys to keep the back wheel from coming around when you put the power on. You have to remember that these engines are putting out about 130 horsepower and in the wet, that's some handful. Paul McMillan, number nine, slicing his way through traffic. Mercier, number one, will try him 
up on the outside through that final turn. But McMillan does a nice job of holding off the Suzuki Rider. They go on the straightaway. Here's the test of horsepower. Mercier trying to pick up the draft. There is 185. Tommy Douglas, he has moved up into the fourth place spot. Through traffic again. Nine, McMillan, your leader. One, Mercier. They have lap number 88, Kyle Andrews, and 14, Ken Lalonde. There is the third place rider, 99, Gary Goodfellow. And uh, then back in fourth now, it's 185, Tommy Douglas. There is Goodfellow trying to catch up with that machine not sounding good at all. Well, there's Surrey's Tom Walther packing him in. And you know, he's had trouble all day trying to make that Honda work. And I don't know what the problem is, but he's out of the race today. Paul McMillan back into the oval. McMillan crashes. McMillan goes right over the front of the motorcycle. He's going to try to pick it up and get restarted. One of the corner marshals over to his assistance. But it looks like that will be it for McMillan. Art Robbins, number 47, trying to out break Tommy Douglas into the hairpin, but Douglas, the young Laval Quebec rider, will hold him off. Robbins, who led in the early going, now running back in the fourth place spot. Douglas has done a great job of coming up through the field, now running into third place position, and Craig, they are catching Gary Goodfellow in a hurry. Well, they sure are, but uh, you know, Gary's not running too good this time around, Pat, so I'm not really too sure what his problem is, but he's generally very much faster than this in the wet. Well, there is the section of the racetrack where they're making up ground on Goodfellow on the straightaway, and they have gone by Gary Goodfellow. 185, Tommy Douglas in a second. 47, Art Robbins running third, and Goodfellow finds himself now back in the fourth place spot. All three of those riders try to chase down number one, Michelle Mercier, who has taken over the lead. Mercier has had a great run. Here is Douglas, 185, and Robbins, 47, side by side in a turn five, and again, Douglas will hold off the bid by Robbins. Well, we've been talking about good fellow. You know, this guy can still come back. He problems today. He finished first at most parts starting at the back, and I asked him if it was a problem starting from the back in any kind of race. So starting from the back, you just got to get a good start and uh, catch up with the, you know, the front eight guys and then make sure you just keep, um, you know, coming up all the time and you can set a good pace and maybe zap by them and set your own pace, and which is a little bit quicker than the other guys. So, in one respect, it might be even a little bit of a, um, an advantage stomach starting from behind because the guys in the front know, uh oh, where, is he coming or what's the story, you know? So, I don't know, I, it doesn't bother me at all. And uh, I'm just going to get out there today and ride as hard as I did last week and uh, try to win like everybody else. Art Robbins, number 47, the Rathmans Honda rider has retaken the second place position from 185, Tommy Douglas. The two riders just a couple of bike lengths apart out of the chicane, and Craig, it looks as though they are catching the leader, Michel Mercier. Well, you know, Pat, this is the first time that Art's tried these new Michelin tires, and I think he's finding that the hotter he gets them, the better they're sticking, because he's really come from a long way back just in the last lap or so. Both Robbins and Douglas continue to push the pace. The traction appears to be there under the Castro Bridge out of the final turn. Again, just three bike lengths separating those two riders as they run in second and third place. There is your leader, Michel Mercier, at the end of the straightaway as he breaks for the hairpin. And there you can see the margin back to second and third place riders, Robbins and Douglas. And they are definitely inching up on Mercier, the leader. Michel Mercier out of the chicane in heavy traffic. There is Art Robbins. 47 right behind him and then Tommy Douglas back in the third place spot. There's number 76 Mario Duhamel being lapped by Mercier. He has an unusual hobby away from the track ballroom dancing. I asked him if the two had any similarities. And yes, uh, it helps to concentrate because when I do dance with my partner uh, we make one, we do as one. So with the motorcycle you must do as one too. Like you got to feel it like it's in your body, it's in yourself, and it's part of yours. Not riding differently or separate. You've got to ride to do the same thing. And concentration-wise, it's great. Because when you're ballroom dancing, you've got to think about everything. Your head, your feet, your shoulders, your hands. And on the bike, it's the same thing. Braking, gas, put on the gas, shifting, etc., apex. 
concentration is the same. National Speedway, I'm Pat Gonzalez, and with me is Craig Hill. And Pat, have we got a battle for first place between West Hills Art Robbins on a Honda and Suzuki-powered Canadian champion Michelle Mercier. The blue and white last lap flag is out. Here's Robbins making a bit for the lead on the inside of Mercier at the end of the straightaway into turn one, and Art Robbins has retaken the lead. He led in the early going, had dropped back as far back as fourth, and now with the last lap flag out, Art Robbins has charged to the front. Robbins out of the chicane for the final time. Mercier just a few bike lengths back as they break into the oval with less than a lap to go. Mercier closing to within four or five bike lengths. Robbins leading the Honda right over through turn six that right the almost down on the wet pavement. Mercier, does he have an answer for Robbins here? One quarter to go. Mercier closing under the